Today, we are going to talk about game theory, what it means and how it can be used to encourage positive action in society that will lead to a better outcome for everybody. But of course, just like any other tool in our arsenal, game theory can also be used in a negative way. What makes us empowered is having the ability to see the forest for the trees and know when we are being manipulated. Game theory can also give us a powerful tokenization framework to incentivize positive behavior among different players in a social setting. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. You can think of game theory as the art and science of strategic decision making. It gives us a framework to come up with strategies when faced with other players in a given situation. Now, depending on our perception of those players as friend or foe or neutral, we may develop our strategies as a way to maximize or minimize gain for everybody or for one party. Think of the situation between Russia and Ukraine. If the Western government stops Russia's access to the SWIFT payment system, they also shoot themselves in the foot, since Europe heavily relies on Russia for its energy usage, and they use the system to deal with money transactions. This is a classic game theoretic situation. What makes game theory really tricky is that one player's success depends on the other player's strategy. And of course, in most cases in our lives, we have no idea how the other party will react and what moves they will make in a given situation. Just like we don't know how Russia will react to sanctions, for example. The decisions that other people make has an impact on our lives. And the more intertwined these decisions become, the more complex the society gets. Now, why does that matter? Well, that increased complexity gives governments and large corporations a reason to intervene in the name of reinstating order. As we become more adept at generating large amounts of data about human behavior, governments and tech corporations that have access to that data can start to get a better sense of people's responses to different stimuli. And therefore, they are in a better position to feed our brain the type of information, entertainment, fear, or whatever it takes to impact our decision-making in a game-theoretic way. One of the reasons why I'm a fan of blockchain technology and decentralization is the potential to stop this type of manipulation. Of course, this may just be wishful thinking on my part, and perhaps it's already too late. Though I can't help but feel that blockchain technology and decentralization may be our last hope to free ourselves and our trapped attention that the tech giants and governments are vying for. With an understanding of game theory combined with tokenization, we can create powerful democratic frameworks to encourage actions that are good for the future of the planet and our society. Let's take the example of our environmental impact. One of the worst things that we can do to the environment is overconsumption. Ever since the post-World War era, we have been producing and consuming way too much. We eat more than ever, we keep buying things that we don't even need, and we are damaging the environment by creating so much waste. For manufacturers and food producers around the world, the human appetite for consumption has been good news because it means that they can make more money in the short term. And the consumers have enjoyed this as there's been more abundance. But all of this impacts the long-term well-being of the planet negatively, and it's bad for the future generations who are going to live in a wasteland. Tokenization combined with an understanding of game theory can be used to create an incentive model to align the interests of today's generation with the future generations. What it takes is innovators and entrepreneurs who can build business models that are designed to maximize positive outcome for everybody. Now it's your turn. Can you think of ways that game theory and tokenization can be combined to solve a global problem? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.